After winning Taiwan's presidential election, President-elect Lai Ching-de called for independence for the island state, potentially sparking further tensions with China. Now, Washington welcomed Lai's victory, saying it demonstrated the power of democracy and the electoral system. Yi seung has more. After winning Saturday's presidential election, Taiwanese Vice President and now President-elect Lai cheng te described his win as a victory for the community of democracies, adding that the Taiwanese people have successfully prevented intervention by external forces through their actions. Lai made no direct reference to China. During his victory speech, he further stressed that the election results highlighted Taiwan's choice of democracy over authoritarianism and that he would walk side by side with democracies from around the world, expressing his inclination toward independence for the island state. In another reference to China, Lai said that the election results showed that Taiwan had successfully resisted efforts from external forces to influence the election. Washington responded to the election victory for the pro-American candidate with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken congratulating the Taiwanese people on President-elect Lai's victory, saying it demonstrated the power of democracy and the electoral system. He also added that the relationship between the United States and Taiwan will deepen through democracy. President Joe Biden, however, said Saturday that the United States does not support the independence of Taiwan. The U.S. is expected to unite more strongly with Taiwan in the future in the economic and security fields to keep China in check. The president-elect's push for Taiwan's independence, combined with closer security ties with the U.S., could potentially spark further tensions between Taiwan, China and the U.S. 64-year-old Lai secured over 40 percent of the votes on Saturday, beating out new Taipei City Mayor Hu Yu-i of the main opposition Kuomintang and Ko Wenzhe from Taiwan's People's Party. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.